The fiscal hawks have gone actually quite quiet yeah. over the last couple of weeks. Are they going to reassert themselves this week and make a difference? Well, I, I think you will see that horse trading coming through this final week. You know, clearly the president wants to get that deal done. But that l question about needing bipartisan report, which is why the Consumer Protection Board is so important potentially, um, you know, is it, critical to get this through. And that question mark about will it bust the debt ceiling? How much additional growth can you actually generate so that you can get this through the CBO? You know, yeah. those are the key questions. Questions, and we're still very dubious about whether you will be able to drive this through in its current form. But well, wait a second, do you actually think bipartisan support is crucial? It's a bit late in the day to start looking to well, try and get know, that. I, you know, I think that you've got, to see, you've got to see something that works for both sides, haven't you? And I think this question mark about does this favour the corporate sector, does this favour the rich over, you know, the, the, the broader uh, community is still an issue here. And, you know, I think that that's limiting how far you can push these tax cuts, they are not tax reforms, and that's the thing that limits how much growth you're going to get next year. So, you know, our sense is this isn't going to be a massive game changer for U.S. growth in 2018. It's only going to add about a quarter percent, maybe half a percent at most. It's going in the right direction, but if the, that just encourages the Fed to raise rates more aggressively, then you're just going to nullify that effect. So the president will be able to say he's got something through, but the impact for the markets, the impact for the economy will be limited. But you mentioned uh, the economy more but what it will mean to the markets is, I feel like, the big question mark. And Mohamed Alarian wrote today in Bloomberg View. I want to point out what he said. He says, by buying every dip, traders and investors have essentially brought future economic growth forward and financial returns. And they are betting that comprehensive pro-growth policy response in advanced countries will eventually validate what otherwise could be quite fragile markets. Now, we know you're a sell the rally kind of guy, but what do you think? Well, I think that's absolutely the right story. The question we've been asking clients is, have you changed your long-run return forecasts? And most of them say no. And if you haven't, then we've had a 20% gain in equity markets this last year. How many years of return have you brought forward exactly on that assumption that this shift from um, loose money tight fiscal to loose fiscal tight money is going to really change the dynamics? My view is that one's loose, one's tight you still go nowhere. You've still got this muted growth environment. We're not going on from 2% towards 3 or 4% growth. You're just stuck in this 2 to 2.5% two growth. And that means the, um, you know, the muted cycle makes it very difficult to break out to the upside and change the dynamics from growth to value.